Um, we had an exceptional performance by all three of our business segments. So our, our diversification strategy is working. Uh, this has enabled us to, to generate a lot of cash. And I will show you the cash that we have generated and talk a bit around that. And that cash that we have generated has allowed us to, to pay for um, Kumati. We've settled the debt on what we borrowed to, to pay for Kumati as well as Koza. So at the moment, our balance sheet is in a net cash position. So we've got a strong balance sheet and we, we've got a balance sheet that can support our growth um, that we want to continue with. So if you look at the scoreboard, what, what does the scoreboard say on, on all our decisions for the six months? Uh, our operating profit is up 65%, it's 582 million. This is similar, well, I'll get to the graph compared to the halves, where we compare the halves. Operating profit margin of 24%, headline earnings per share is up 60.5%. Our interim dividend is 40 cents, and our cash from operation, uh, yeah, cash from operating activities is 806 million. We'll see that's significantly more than the profit that we made, but I'll touch on that a bit later. And that has allowed us to be in a net cash position. So we do have a strong balance sheet at the moment. So if we look at the operations, um, firstly, we look at our construction materials business. Um, we've seen a recovery after the, um, after the COVID lockdown, but unfortunately, we are not back at 2019 levels yet. Um, the main drivers for that is, there are two reasons for that. The one is the winter in the Cape was quite severe this year and it really impacted construction material sales. Um, so we had a, a, especially July and August was, was quite, quite a lot slower than the rest of the year in the Western Cape due to the weather. Um, and then secondly, we had a disaster in, in Mozambique. Uh, as you all know, there was a, was a violent attack there um, early in the year. Um, and, and that has caused some, some operational losses because uh, obviously we still have the depreciation on all the kit there and, and the losses that, that is caused by that. So those are the two big, big, biggest drivers of a slight underperformance of the construction materials business compared to two years ago. It is much better than last year, but it's not fair to compare with last year because last year was, was a COVID year. So there you see the numbers. Our revenue, um, very close to where it was last year, the Western Cape in July and August just uh, holding us back a little bit, but then the operating margin suffering because of, of the, uh, the underperformance, as I just mentioned. Um, we look at the, the construction in, uh, industry uh, as a whole. We get this question very often. Do we see the, the government spending coming through? It is slowly coming through. It's not as quickly as we would have liked to see it. But as you can see in that four-quarter average of the, of the AFRIMAT construction index, you can see that it is starting to head upwards. We are start, starting, as an industry, starting to catch up and getting back to where we were. Um, we look at Mozambique. We've withdrawn all our people. Force majeure was declared by the, by the main contractor as well as by us. They, uh, we did impair some property plant equipment that we will not be able to recover if we have to uh, abandon everything there. So, so that's about 8.6 8 million rand. There's a 20 million rand uh, stock write-off and then obviously the operational cost that, that I mentioned on just now. We are still negotiating with the main contractor to see, see where things are heading. Uh, we have brought all our movable assets to safety, uh, but there is an operating loss in that business. We look, move to industrial minerals. That's our lime and metallurgical dolomite businesses. Um, once again, if we look at the revenue, the revenue is actually slightly up on 2019 and quite nicely up from last year. Um, we did see a slow recovery after the lockdown, but it's better now. Margin slightly under pressure. We saw in our uh, industrial minerals business, um, some of our big industrial customers uh, like OsloMittal had, a, had a, a, a slower take up of product this year. So, uh, we, we found alternative markets, as you can see in the revenue line there and the volumes is there, but the margins were, slight, were not as good as we are used to. It was slightly better, but we expect that to, to improve quite nicely um, in, in the second half of this year. Looking at bulk commodities, um, the really exciting thing about the bulk commodities is we've turned in Kumati. Kumati started making profits. You'll see in the, 
in the results that we published on sense that and Komati still made a significant loss in the first year, uh, first half of this year. But that was up until the end of July. August was our first profitable month, September better, October even better. Um, that thing is done. And we are very happy about that. And I think the turf team on, on the ground there did an exceptionally good job. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Jenkins, the other uh, tool in our in our, our business, um, have started. We've started producing, and we'll share with you just now how much product has been sold from there. Um, doing very well. Demoning now in a in sort of that that equal state, um, and and also doing reasonably well. So just looking at our assets, um, Demoning um, probably has uh, three to four years of life of mine left. Um, we will then replace it with uh, with Rooks Pan and Duren Pan, which was part of our Forza acquisition. So we'll we'll move across in, in the right time to make sure that we we have that. Right, and Kumati has started producing, Jenkins has started producing, and Krabbenhager, we'll talk about that just now, it's the latest acquisition that we've announced. That business uh, the business case is being built still, it's looking quite exciting, uh, but, but they, we'll talk about that just now. So looking at bulk commodities, our revenue increased by 79.3%. Um, Kumati and Jenkins uh, started contributing during this the six-month period, and we'll share with you a little bit more on that now. We did have very favorable annual pricing. It was uh, it was a record prices. I think it was an all-time record at one stage. It was uh, north of $220 for a short period. Um, at the moment, uh, I just checked before I walked in. At the moment, it's trading just, just around $100 a ton, uh, which is uh, still significantly better than, than we, we were used to a few years ago but it is lower than what it was uh, at the peak 